Welcome to ASQ TV, where we're creating a global view of quality. In this episode, we discuss the benefits and challenges of implementing Six Sigma, the return on investment of Six Sigma, an integral tool for any Six Sigma initiative. And finally, we play a game called Name That Black Belt. Six Sigma is one of the most well-known quality methods. As ASQ certified Six Sigma Green Belt Maria Piment explains, the approach provides structure to managing processes, analyzing their capability, and reducing variability. I think to implement Six Sigma across an organization gives a company a competitive advantage in today's marketplace. The key benefits for that would actually be to make sure that people can go from actually being problem solving and reacting to things that are occurring with their organization to help them to become in a proactive way and actually prevent problems before they occur. Benefits abound, but gaining buy-in across an organization isn't always easy. The main challenge that I see in my opinion is that it's a massive culture change for an organization and um, so you've actually got to get people understanding the benefits of actually doing that and the reasons behind it and also it's actually quite a cost um, so it could take typically you know a year to two years before an organization actually starts to get a return on their investment for actually deploying a program and getting people trained in the methodology. To hear more about Six Sigma's role in quality, watch clips from the keynote speeches at ASQ's 2014 Lean and Six Sigma conference at the links below. And learn more about the meaning behind Six Sigma belts by visiting the link below. Six Sigma emerged at Motorola in 1986 and has evolved into a robust and systematic approach for organizations and industries striving for excellence and a competitive edge. If you're having difficulty convincing your organization to adopt Six Sigma, here are some hard numbers that prove the financial return. A study published in the Quality Management Journal provides a closer look at the bottom line of Six Sigma at 28 organizations. Effective implementation of Six Sigma led to an average savings of 1.7% of revenues over the period of use and an average return of more than $2 in direct savings for every dollar invested on Six Sigma. A $100 million organization can expect a direct savings of $1 to $2 million a year, with a best case scenario of $6.8 million in savings a year. Read the report and find multiple figures and tables that show the direct costs and savings of Six Sigma programs at each organization studied by visiting the link below. In its quest to improve process capability with Six Sigma, an organization can choose from a host of tools. But one approach that has become integral to any Six Sigma initiative is known as DMAIC a data-driven quality strategy used to improve processes. Five phases make up the process. First, define the problem, improvement activity, opportunity for improvement, project goals, and internal and external customer requirements. Next, characterize and measure the process's performance. Then, analyze the process to determine root causes of variation and poor performance or defects. Modify the process design as necessary based on your analysis. Improve process performance by addressing and eliminating the root causes. Finally, control the improved process and future process performance. While DMAIC has become synonymous with Six Sigma, it can be implemented as a standalone quality improvement method or as part of other process improvement initiatives, such as Lean. Read more about DMAIC at the links below. In Six Sigma and martial arts, black belts signify the highest levels of mastery. And of course, many famous people have achieved this distinction. So let's take a look at some of those famous black belts by playing a round of Name That Black Belt. This martial artist, actor, and classically trained singer from Hong Kong has been in show business since the 60s and has appeared in more than 150 films, usually portraying comedic underdogs. He holds the Guinness World Record for most stunts by a living actor and can speak eight languages. Name That Black Belt. You got it. Jackie Chan, a black belt in Hapkido. Chan first learned martial arts while studying at the China Drama Academy. The second black belt achieved rapid fame in the 50s, 60s, and 70s as an American singer, musician, and actor. Known as the King of Rock and Roll, this cultural icon recorded hits such as Don't Be Cruel, Hound Dog, and All Shook Up. Name that black belt. That's right, it's Elvis Presley. Presley earned his first degree black belt in 1960 and eventually was awarded an eighth degree black belt in Kenpo Karate. Finally, a multiple choice question. 
This master black belt is well known in the quality community for sharing his Six Sigma knowledge with others. He's a past chair of ASQ and a Six Sigma instructor for ASQ's Learning Institute. Name that black belt. Is it A, Chuck Norris, B, Steven Seagal, or C, Jack West? If you answered Jack West, then you're absolutely right. As a Six Sigma Master Black Belt at Northrop Grumman, West trained more than 100 black belts and champions and has accounted for more than 15 million U.S. dollars in validated savings. Well, thank you for joining us for ASQ TV. Click subscribe on this page for ASQ TV's email notification to learn when a new episode is available. And make sure you join us for the next episode as we dive deeper into the difference between Lean and Six Sigma.